Welcome back to more Terraria with Brian. Last time we managed to get the Razor Pine, ooh, which I never reforged. Superior is still pretty good, so I think I'll just try using it at that. But now that I have Razor Pine, I think it will be possible for me to get farther into a Pumpkin Moon. I'm still trying to get the Truffle to arrive. This still needs to grow in a bit more. I was having problems that the Hallow was encroaching on in this area, and so I did some more contaminating. So this is just kind of normal purity biome once again. And if enough of the glowing mushrooms spread, and actually I probably have some more glowing mushroom seeds. We can try to make it to get to spread a little bit more. Um, I really, I don't know that there's anything that I want from the truffle, honestly. Um, but I probably want that NPC anyway. Someone pointed out also that I don't have the tax collector. I guess I've only got one more mushroom grass seed right now. And the tax collector, like, I've been rolling in money for the most point. Expert mode gives you a lot of money. And I think that's the only kind of purpose of having that NPC. Other than just the completionist aspect of having all the NPCs. So I'm not too worried about that right now. In any case, I have a Pumpkin Moon Medallion. I have the Razor Pine. And I have all the rest of my usual build out. And we'll probably swap to using some yo-yos and see how far we can get in that event. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Oh, and I just realized I can buy Greater Manor Potions for five silver. Let's buy a whole bunch of those. And I just had Mana Potions. Let's use Greater Mana Potions. And then I can use my mana to be able to use Bat Scepter and Razor Pine a whole lot. Alright, but the night has just started, so we are going to summon another Pumpkin Moon. And I expect Bat Scepter is probably one of the best things at the beginning, because it will just go seek out all the enemies who are off screen. And so I'll use a fair bit of that. I had to go learn what my actual button is to actually use a mana potion. I've got it mapped to J on my keyboard, which is kind of crazy. And I guess I'll buff at 8.30. And, uh, yeah, and then again at... 12.30. Or, no, then again, at whenever my Iron Skin Potion runs out is the key one. Alright, so we've already managed to get to Wave 3, so that's good. I'm gonna refresh this real quick. As well as this. And I should probably... I'm not sure if we have any guys who are making it over here yet. But possibly throw out the Magnet Sphere in case anybody can use that. Alright. But it's about to be 8.30, and so I'm going to buff... I'm going to summon an extra UFO guy, make sure I've got all three out, and now get some Magnet Sphere out here. And once we see our first Everscreen kind of appear on the screen, then I'll try using Razor Pine against him. Oh, Morning Wood, sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's try using some Razor Pine against that guy. Oh, I need mana. Jay. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I'm flying all around. Okay, let's see how much Razor Pine damage this guy can take. Probably not a lot. Okay, and that is an attack that does go through the wall, so I need to be careful of that. And... I feel like I'm forgetting... Ah, yeah, yo-yos! And I never switched to the yo-yo bag. Yeah, let's get my yo-yos ready. And we can use that for some single target damage as well. I'm not sure where all the bad guys are. So let's use a weapon that will go seek them out. Bat Scepter, in this case. And let's have a Magnet Sphere flying down here, because that'll help do a little bit more damage. But where are all the big enemies? Where are more Morning Woods? And I guess in Wave 7 we'll get our first pump. Here we go. Okay, let's get a Magnet Sphere. Let's get some Razor Pine shooting at these guys. And let's get the Yo-Yos, actually. Yeah, there we go. Yo-Yos and Counterweights. So many weapons. And the, the Nimbus Rod needs to be refreshed, so let's get that going again. Let's get the Queen Spider Staff going again. One more Magnet Sphere. Alright, that's good. Let's try Razor Pine these guys. Yeah, I think that's faster in terms of single target uh, DPS. I might actually want to put that in the four slot. Okay, here we go. Here's our first pumpkin. First of all, I'm trying him with the yo-yos. That seems to do a fair bit of damage. I need to pick up some hearts really quick. Alright, so I'm getting a sense of how much damage... Oh crap, yo! Um, 
Do I need to rebuff or anything? No, I'm just, I just need to take less damage. Okay. Let's also, let's get back in the honey. Oh, and let me also uh, flip my arena really quick. Because I don't need to go down there anymore, I think. We're going to focus on pumpkins. Alright, let me kill this one pumpkin. If I can. Oh, I need the Nimbus Rod back out. Nimbus Rod, where are you? Okay. There we go. Okay, let's... Ah, uh, darn it. I was going to try to leave the hearts. Um, let's do a little bit of Bat Scepter while I don't see any more guys to attack immediately. Okay, here's another pumpkin. And now this time, I want to try Razor Pining him. I think this is dealing more DPS than the yo-yo uh, was. It's uh, it's hard to tell. It's definitely it's like making more ticket ticket sounds, which is kind of nice. Can I heal? I can. Okay, great. Um, and I need my mana. Okay, there's the key for that. Okay, so let's razor pine this guy to death. That is good. I don't need all the hearts just yet, and so I'll try not to use them all up just yet. And right now I don't see many bad guys to go after. Okay, here's another pumpkin. Great. Alright, I need to... Oops. There we go. Get the razor pine going. I actually need to refresh the Nimbus Rod. I'm recording these a bit ahead of time, and it's hard for me to tell exactly... Oh, crap. I need to uh, pick up some hearts. There's some hearts down here? There are. Hooray. There's also a honey buff down there. I don't have a good sense of if this is going to start getting boring and repetitive or whatever. Like, I do feel like I'm making progress, and so we're kind of, like, getting further into different waves. Um, and so, and I'm kind of, like, refining my strategies a little bit, and so hopefully that's interesting. Um, but I'm not sure exactly what people's opinions will be. Uh, and so... I hope this isn't getting boring for folks, but I'm definitely enjoying it. I enjoy kind of like trying to climb the ladder of progress in terms of being able to get further and further into these wave events and just, you know, occasionally managing to unlock... Oops, crap. <laughs> I'm not used to pressing the uh, mana button. All right. I have to look down at the keyboard to figure out where the letter J is so I can actually hit it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Alright, that'll give me a bunch of hearts. That's good. I'm just about healed back up. Let's get some bats flying around. Kill some other bad guys. And actually, while I'm down here, let's go ahead and get the honey buff and kind of clear up some of that. Okay. Surely there'll be another pumpkin appearing in a moment. There he is. Okay. So let's try to get him to fly directly above me, please. Oh, I need to buff. Um, that was a late buff. I should have realized that. And somewhere along the lines, I lost that pumpkin. I'm not sure what happened there. I see him, like, flying around over here. What's going on? I might need another UFO again, too. Um, let's go ahead and... Crap. Okay, I got that. Oh, crap! Heal! I did not realize how low I was getting. Okay. Got, got a little distracted. Um, what's my best strategy here? I think it is to try to hope that there's some hearts down here. There's not. I'm gonna have to go visit the nurse. Uh, I screwed myself over there a little bit. Heal. Thank you. Alright. Uh, let's refresh the Nimbus Rod while I'm thinking of it. And that. Okay. And now we're going to get back to razor piping the pumpkin whilst trying to avoid damage. Hopefully. Uh, I need to... Oh, crap. Ah! What did I do? <laughs> I don't know how I just switched switch to the map there. I hit some wrong key on the keyboard. I didn't hit the usual map key, I don't think. I don't know what I did. Heal! Crap! No! Why am I taking so much damage? Why do I suck at this game? Ah! Oh, I've gotten a lot. She's dead. Darn it. Oh, I really screwed this up. <laughs> oh, I apologize, but this is frustrating to watch. Alright, let's see. It is... I have one minute left. I ought to be able to kill one more pumpkin in that time. Maybe? Oh gosh. Nope, I'm just gonna die. What's gonna happen? Um, can I get any hearts anywhere? I'm sure there must be some hearts somewhere. There's like a heart. Um, is there anything else I can do to get hearts? Uh, no. Can I? Hmm. Just 
just kind of run away from some folks really quick. Um, let's see. There's another honey buff over here I could get really quick. We've got like 30 seconds. Let's do that. How long until I can heal? I can heal. Okay, um, let's take that healing advantage and try to get back up into the arena. I killed so many of my NPCs. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now I'm in decent shape, but there's not enough time left to be able to kill a pumpkin. So we'll just kill as many other of these little dudes as we can. I only got to wave 11. I feel like I screwed up something pretty badly this time, and I'm not sure what I did. Uh, and so that makes me feel bad. Um, I'll have to go back and analyze the video. I definitely buffed too late at one point and took a bunch of damage in the middle. But I'm not sure what I did wrong. I feel like it would be beneficial if I could get the Staff of the Frost Hydra. And so I'm just going to do some fighting around underground in order to kill a bunch of enemies in icy areas and hope that I get lucky. And the key for that uh, chest in the dungeon happens to drop. And so I'll spend a little bit of time doing this and show you any interesting bits. Rishi the Truffle has arrived! Hooray! I spent a bit of time fighting around in the ice area. One thing I did get was a frozen turtle shell. Equipable puts a shell around the owner below 50% life that reduces damage. Don't know that that is worth a accessory slot. But now that we have the truffle... Mushroom Spear, earlier in hard mode, I think it doesn't get sold until after you defeated a mechanical boss. That's a decent weapon, uh, but I'm way past that now. I don't need these things. The Auto Hammer to convert uh, Chlorophyte into Shroomite is something that I'd like. That's just a pet. And Dark Blue Solution, I don't know that I really need for anything right now. And but we'll go ahead and set out the arm Auto Hammer. We'll make a piece of Shroomite just to check out what are the things that are available to craft. I seem to recall that Shroomite requires Chlorophyte and Glowing Mushrooms, but let's see if I can actually make some. Yes, 15 Mushrooms and one Chlorophyte bar. Alright. So, I've got a few Shroomite bars. Let's go talk to the guide about it to see what all we can make. But it seems to me I looked at the list of things and they were all kind of underwhelming to me. There is Shroomite Armor, which is basically kind of ranged stealth kind of damage, which I'm not interested in. Shroomite Digging Claw is a very fast but very short range, kind of like pickaxe kind of thing. But I don't know that I really want that. Drill Containment Unit is something at the very end game. And the Hoverboard... The Hoverboard is kind of cool. Um, instead of wings... Let's see, it takes 18 Shroomite Bars... I could make it, um, but I think the wings are actually possibly better. It lets you fly left and right a little bit faster. But I don't know that I really want it. And yeah, Shroomite plating is the only other thing. So I really don't know that there's anything I want to make out of Shroomite right now. I guess so long as I just got the truffle, I'm grabbing some purification powder. I don't have the tax collector NPC, but I guess I might as well just for completion's sake go ahead and try to get him. Because I think then, other than Santa Claus, that's all the NPCs in the game. And I don't think you can get Santa Claus except around Christmas time. Oh, right, there's this guy, the Red Devil. Oh gosh, he's gonna kill me in like two hits. Holy crap. Okay, I forgot that he exists. <laughs> um, I'm gonna buff with just Iron Skin and Regen. Uh, and I think that'll help enough uh, down here. Okay, the Tax Collector... I can't remember if the Tax Collector can spawn on platforms like I have over here from my Wall of Flesh bridge. But I think he just starts out as, like, some tortured soul. Is that what it is? And then you hit him with the Purification Powder and he turns into the Tax Collector, I think. I don't know if my UFOs... Hmm. I'm gonna desummon my UFOs as well. I'm not sure if they'll attack the Tortured Soul before I get a chance to purify him. Well, let me walk around and see if I can find that guy. Okay, here's another one of these guys. Let me see if I can do a better job actually beating this guy without letting him hit me. Yep. I can't remember... I think it's called the Rotted Fork. I can't remember if I actually have one of those. Um, I don't think it's a... Well, it was hitting me for a lot. It might be a useful magic weapon to have. Tortured Soul. Here he is. Uh, purification Powder. Zing. Did I do it? Yes. Great. He is now the Tax Collector. 
And so... <laughs> Let's see. Can I collect any money? Not so fast. You got your money now. Be gone. Okay, so he has to, like, basically... The more time he's around in the world or whatever, like, he collects more taxes from NPCs and then gives you money. It's not a particularly interesting mechanic, in my opinion. And not particularly discoverable. Oh, there's a voodoo demon. Let's get another guy's voodoo doll. All right. In any case, got another NPC. I reforged the Razor Pine to Mythical, so that is the best possible modifier on that particular magic weapon. And I just realized if I've been using the Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo for my main melee weapon, I should really reforge it to the best possible thing as well. I'm not sure if yo-yos can become wedgen bleh, legendary, but I guess that's what I'll be going for, or something else that has at least like 15% damage. Demonic is 15% damage. I'll take that. It's been a while since I've had a fishing quest item on hand when a new day came around. Let's see if I happen to get lucky finally. I do not. Oh, Supreme Helper Minion. A new achievement. I guess that means I completed so many fishing quests. Um, I could believe that. Uh, what I can't believe is the fact that I've still not managed to get the Endless Water Bucket as a fishing reward in this particular, or the, um... There's another thing. The thing that combines with these two things. That I can't remember right now. High test fishing line? Don't I have that already? What do these things combine with? These are materials. High test fishing line, tackle box, and angler earring all combine into angler tackle box. I thought I had a high test fishing line in this world already. Nope, I'm looking through my stuff and I don't see one, so that's kind of crazy. It is now a few days later in real life since whatever you saw previously. I felt like I wasn't making much progress there, and so I needed to just kind of like take a break from things. Uh, one thing I am curious about, I feel like the Nimbus Rod actually could be damaging my DPS. You see I'm only getting like 700 DPS here, whereas if I do this, I can get, eh, I guess it's still around 700, 800, 900 DPS. Um, it is the case that piercing weapons cause enemies to become invulnerable for a period of time. And so I think I might stop using the Nibis Rod when we get to the Pumpkins and kind of like the higher tier enemies. Uh, off camera, let's see. I did some more fishing and managed to finally get the high test fishing line again. And so now I have the Angler Tackle Box, which is great. And I also did some renovations to the arena based on some suggestions that people had. So the main renovations are there are more teleporters so that I can run directly across. Uh, people pointed out that basically teleporters preserve momentum and so it's best to one, run one way across and run through the honey. And so basically the top teleporter over here brings me to the left teleporter over there so I can run straight through. I get the honey buff as you can see right up here. Um, pick up any of the stuff that's down below, and there's tele or sorry conveyor belts down here, which help move me through more quickly. I've also added conveyor belts over here, so that as I kill guys, any of the hearts that are dropping kind of all along here will all stack up over here, and similarly, any of the hearts that are dropping over here will all stack up over here, so it'll make it easier to pick up the various hearts. And I've done some other kind of like rewiring. I don't remember kind of like all the details of what I did. And so I think maybe the easiest thing to do is just to show you the wiring diagram of what's here now. It's a little bit crazy, but basically green is the heart and star statues. Yellow is the traps. Red is the teleporters and blue is the actuators that turn on and off the uh, the section right here that just makes it so that this becomes solid ground to protect me from various projectiles the guys down there are shooting at me. And so my plan is tonight I'm gonna do a pumpkin moon off camera. Uh, oh yeah, and I added ice blocks here, which means that while I'm kind of fighting around here we'll be in an ice biome and hopefully maybe have the chance to pick up the ice key so I can get the frost staff. But basically, my plan is to do another Pumpkin Moon off-camera. I think you guys have seen enough of them. Oh, yeah, and I added this 
uh, is just kind of showing me where the Nimbus Rod is, that it kind of like fits in between to go down below. And up here, this is the highest place that I can put the Nimbus Rod so that it will go all the way down to any of the enemies who are down in the lava. But I don't know that the Nimbus Rod is going to be as important moving forward. So I'm going to do an off-camera, I'll see what we get, and we'll go from there. Well, I completed another pumpkin moon, and sadly, I did die once, and I didn't get any more rare drops, but I did get some experience with my new arena. I'm probably going to do a few more just off-camera on my own and try to get the ice key so that we can get the frost hydra summoning thing. Um, which will be useful to just add some damage overall to the arena. And I think at this point I probably have enough footage for this video, and I don't know that this video turned out great anyway. So I hope as always that you guys are having a great day. In some future video, I may use the warding moon shell and go to the ocean and try to fight Duke Fishron, but that'll be something to look forward to in the future. See you guys later.